So I've done some previous videos talking about 3D printing, this printer, setting it up, doing the settings, tips and tricks, and things you can tweak and add to this to make it print even better. And one thing I haven't talked about yet is I made a new filament arm for this. This is where the, the filament attaches and it is being held on and it, it rolls out as you print. And I really didn't like this design. Um, first, it holds it at a 90 degree angle, which created a, it, it had to really pull to get it to, to uh, get the filament to roll out. And I found if at all the filament was crossed, it would bind up and it would create a snagging point and you'd come back and it wouldn't be printing right and you'd find out it was completely snagged. The filament was overlapped. Um, and this is just, I know they did it because it's cheap and it's compact, but they just had this metal bracket that fits on there and there was too much friction and I didn't like it. So obviously when you get a 3D printer, all the solutions you'd think are 3D printed solutions. So you go online and look, there's a 3D filament holder that you can print. Well, all the filament holders for this printer were not printed on this printer, if you understand what I'm saying. Meaning, hey, here's a, here's a filament holder you can use, but you can't print it on this printer, which is not really that good. Um, and the reason why is because it has to hold it this distance away from the printer, which is too big for this print bed. Um, so that's how most of those were. They were like a, a, a triangular arm that held it at this better angle so it can spin this direction and smoothly feed the filament in. Um, there, there were a couple of designs that still held it at this 90 degree angle and used a bearing to uh, keep the friction low. Another design was a stand that fit on the desk and you set it on four wheel bearings and it just rotates on those bearings. Um, I didn't really like that. It wasn't very stable. So I thought, hey, how about I just make it, not 3D print it, which you can't believe. So the first version was this. I made it out of plywood um, and I cut a groove. I actually took an idea from somebody else. They, they, they instead of mount, I, I figured I would have to mount it by drilling and bolting it on here and I didn't want to do that. And somebody, what somebody did was they had an idea of um, just putting a groove in one of their parts and it actually snapped on to this me, uh, sheet metal gap here. So that's what I did. I just used a handsaw and I held it um, and I cut it slowly with a handsaw um, about halfway through and once you get that gap right it just snaps on there and it's very stable and you can also adjust it. You can adjust it to any height and it snaps on there and I had a wooden dowel which was my first mistake. Obviously not this one but I had a wooden dowel and it sat on there. The problem was this wood dowel created more friction than the metal and it didn't spin smoothly. I, I should have noticed that and used a different material but I didn't at the time. What I did do was I went to the same design, um, but I used a bearing. And this bearing is out of an old VCR I had laying around. And it spins great. It just spins super, super smooth. And I had to find some way to mount uh, a, a dowel on that. And I'm like, how about I use PVC? So I had a, a bracket coming off that, off that, off that. And I found I didn't even need this bearing. The PVC with this plastic it's so, it spun smo so smoothly, there was no friction. So I got rid of this, I didn't need it. And I went to this version, which is what worked. And this is just that same idea, but with a two inch PVC pipe um, on the end. And once you get it snapped on there nice and tight, you can adjust it to any height because you want that filament coming off. Not too high, not too low. You can adjust this up and down. and I got this end cap to keep it on here because it, it did kind of travel along the pipe and it could possibly fall off. So you want some sort of end cap, but that's it. No bearings, nothing moving. It's just a, a, a wooden uh, triangular piece that snaps onto the printer and it, it just rotates on the PVC and it's super easy to rotate the PVC on the plastic. You don't need bearings, um, but on this wood, it, it didn't it didn't rotate smoothly so if you're gonna whatever you build you're gonna want to use a PVC pipe and two inch fit fine it, it was just uh, the right size it wasn't um, too small where you have all that force on one point it kind of spread it out so I'll have to do uh, for people who have this same printer I'll do some plans but it's the the part itself is 
um, approximately eight inches by six inches um, and whatever angle I, I probably over designed it a little because this is only you know it's only a kilogram so it doesn't have to be super strong but this thing has worked much better I haven't had any problems with it binding on the filament um, like I said I do have this cap on here so that it doesn't slide off the end which it it tends to do um, depending on how it's pitched I think there's a bit of an angle when I attach it but this PVC pipe is just fit in here I just traced it drilled cut it out with a jigsaw I cut all this out with a jigsaw or the bandsaw and I cut this groove on here with a handsaw just to get the right depth I could have used the table saw um, but I would rather just do it with the handsaw so I could constantly work that saw left and right to get the, the gap just right because I had to test fit it several times it would be too tight too tight and finally get that groove right where it snapped on but it wasn't so loose that it slid off but um, that's one more thing you can adjust on your uh, uh, mono price printer or any printer if you don't like how the filament is being held on there and like I said you want to keep the friction low I like how there's no moving parts you don't have to deal with bearings or anything and I like the simplicity of it it's real simple it's easy to get on get off and it doesn't take up that much more space I guess if you're super tight for space you could keep it or you could put a PVC pipe at the 90 degrees but um, the important things you have to know for your printer are this feeds in from the side so you have to know when you're designing this the distance this spool has to be away because you want a little bit of a gap you don't want it super tight so you have to know okay if this roll is most rolls are eight inches uh, in diameter three inches wide about that and there's a two inch a little more than a two two and a quarter inch diameter roll in the middle which is why two inches is good on PVC but you want to say okay if this is eight inch half is four plus the gap so let's make this you know six inches the center six inches away from the end that's an important number to know and you have to know this roll size to fit on there and you have to kind of know luckily this is adjustable up and down but you kind of have to know where you want this filaments going to be coming out most you know at the beginning when the roll is full it's going to be coming out at the top and then as it goes down it'll be coming out lower it's not super critical at the beginning it'll just be coming out on a downward angle and at the end it'll be coming out at an upward angle but like I said this can be adjusted so that wasn't a big deal but if you're permanently attaching it with a bolt or something you're going to want to kind of pick that median point of the roll so the filament's coming out at a straight angle so those are the only real numbers you need to know there's also if you don't want to use this PVC pipe you can buy uh, you can print out um, there's some lots of uh, spool adapters like this one where you can uh, it'll snap into the filament and or snap into the filament roll and it will adapt to whatever size you want but this one is nice and simple and it's just compact and it works so and the way I did it like I said I cut it out with a, uh, a bandsaw I just traced it and the shape really doesn't matter I use three quarter inch plywood you could use anything there's not a lot of weight and this is pretty strong on here and it pops right off and like I said I can adjust it up and down on this this metal bar it can fit anywhere on there and it just snaps on and, and I haven't had a problem with it falling off um, I thought I was gonna have to use some sort of bolt so I could you know I was gonna have to put a little ledge here and somehow bolt it on drill into this this metal plate but I I saw someone else use this idea and I'm like that's a great idea how it can just snap on there like that um, and once it's on there it's pretty good ideally you want it to that's why a three-quarter inch because it gives you room um, for that uh, groove to snap on and then you just roll it up set it on there and put on that cap and it's good to go it's pulling directly off the filament and it's nice and smooth as opposed to that weird 90 degree angle on the metal the metal bar which after you see it you can see why and I have seen some people put you know put something on here or make a new bar and that could work too I haven't tried that that might work if you had if you just put a made a new bar where it clamped on and you had bearings but I like the simplicity of this how it, it just no moving parts right on the the, the PVC 
like I said, this is a, uh, I'm really happy with how I, how I uh, ended up with this design. I wish I would have thought of the PVC earlier, um, but there you go. And like I said, I'll, I'll try to draw it out on AutoCAD or maybe just do a sketch of it with some dimensions. And uh, um, so if you want to make your own, but that's it. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.